Hi everybody, just want to let a few short impressions out about a few games we'll be playing this month on the channel, or in our own time. With my happy home designer gameplay in the background, feel free to judge my design. First off, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. I played 4, I thought it was amazing, even interesting, for, for a JRPG. At least, that's what I thought. Everything felt generic at the time. It was very hard, <laughs> so I never finished it, but I enjoyed my time with it. Maybe I'll go back to it if I can find my 3DS. I'm very excited on the updated demons that weren't in P5, and the gameplay seems very similar to Persona, so this might be a very fun JRPG. Next, uh, let's get some FPS stuff out of the way. Battlefield 2042. Not much to say, to be honest, because this is a first dive of sorts. The only experience I technically have with large-scale FPS is probably Modern Warfare's Ground War, which is different from Battlefield's take on it. The trailer during E3 was pretty hype. Weather effects during gameplay are very interesting. Like, seriously, a tornado during a large-scale battle? Dude, that's very cool. And I'm hoping I'm having a good time with it, despite what people say about the beta. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's not. Who knows? To Call of Duty? We have a lot of experience with this, not gonna lie. A decade's worth. There's some ups, there's some downs, some stuff I want back, others I'm glad I'm gone. But with Van Vanguard, so far it has a very fun multiplayer. Great movement, fun gunplay, but it does seem to have a problem with its zombies mode. Not as bad as I thought it would be after watching people complain on Twitter. It just seems bland and missing a few things. And it has an opposite problem of Cold War, I guess, which had a disappointing multiplayer but fun zombies. I hope in the next month or so they patch things up and make it more enjoyable with uh, the things they're going to be adding. We'll see, we'll see. Moving on from FPS games, but still technically shooters, the GTA trilogy came out and it seems like it's going to be a good time, unless that's nostalgia blinding me. The only issue I see people complaining about it are models looking off, but I don't think that'll stop us from having fun. I am at least very excited for this. I haven't touched these games since I was like 9, and this will be a trip. Good timing too. Feeling burnt out of GTA 5. Keep trying to do some jobs, but there's always this one dude with an oppressor chasing me down, messing with me, and I always struggle to fight him. Either that or I'm just trash. Either way, I felt like I need some nostalgia tea, and sit back and relax and play some San Andreas, you know? Next, Pokemon, specifically the Remasters. Everybody gets hype over Pokemon Remasters, including me. I've always been in Pokemon gear most of my life, even if I feel burnt out on certain entries. An example would be me finishing Sword Story but not bothering with collecting anything. I didn't even finish the DLC, just kind of wanted to be done with it. So, you know, it's not bad, it just wasn't scratching that itch. But back to Pearl, judging by the trailer, there's lots to do, so maybe I'll stick around and do some post-game stuff this time. Skyrim is also coming back. I think I'll stick with the version I already bought. I don't really want to keep buying this game. Um, Animal Crossing's New Horizons 2.0 update and the DLC. I feel like we needed some of this stuff at launch, but it's here now, so I guess I can't complain as much. And I, I love it so far. The DLC is a fun side thing. Designing themes of furniture I'm too lazy to grind for is pretty fun, to be honest, because I don't have to like spend money on anything. Um, I think that's about it for impressions. What about you guys? Any games you're looking forward to this month? Let us know in the comments, and subscribe if you feel like it. See you next time.